Hello, I'm Carol. I'm an independent curator on visual culture and a also curator on mainly social concerned photography. I will be the moderator of this talk on Pierre Francesco Schilado's exhibition. So thank you, Pierre Long and Melody. Maybe before we go into the discussion, can we invite the artist Pierre to share with us um, your project and exhibition design as well as your book? Hello, hi. Um, the Instagram Peer project became, be, uh, began in 2016. Uh, at that time, my wife was expecting our first child, and she had the uh, early contraction, so I didn't want to leave the house for two periods, two long periods. So I started exploring the neighborhood, and I kind of find it by, by chance. Mm -hmm. I started walking there on a daily basis, and when I learned that the pier was known as the Instagram pier. And when I started seeing all the repetitions, mm -hmm. um, I decided to, to make it into a project. So I uh, start the Instagram account of the Instagram pier. So that was the first uh, uh, presence of the Instagram pier project online. Mm -hmm. And during the years, I've collected several thousand images. Mm -hmm. I think now the, the count is about 30,000 photos. And here in the exhibition, uh, you can see more than uh, fifteen, uh, more than fourteen hundred images, mm -hmm. like a, a shorter version of the of the archive in a way. Mm -hmm. And since this closure, the um, the exhibition itself is becoming a sort of a celebration of the pier, a memorial, a memorial of the pier, and what you what is its significance for the users, other photographers, and. Uh, mm -hmm. And, uh, and locals. Mm. Uh, at the same time, because of the closure, we also edit uh, the, the project in a book form. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's uh, like a much uh, tighter edi um, edition where you can really see uh, what really interested me at first. So all the repetition. Mm -hmm. Every day, hundreds of, dozens or hundreds of people in certain cases will come to the pier to photograph themselves in the same pose they have seen. In the, on Instagram, so it give you a sort of idea of the influence of Instagram on uh, our daily lives, and um, in a way, it can become a, a kind of portraiture of a modern city with uh, all the um, the new habit that we that we have. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, what's the difference in the design of the exhibition and the book? Um, well, apart from the number of images it, in the in the exhibition, you can see like a daily daily lives of the pier. There are a lot of different aspects of its usage. So you have people making photos, you have people uh, walking their dogs or exercising you know, or simply having fun with friends. So when on the book, uh, you have a, a better idea of uh, what is the photographic usage of the pier. Mm. So in a way, uh, you can. You can almost consider the pier as an open-air studio with the different situation. You have the, the containers, you have the, uh, the bamboos, you have um, different solutions. So in, in, one single jo in one single visit to the pier, you can really photograph yourself in many different situations. That's what really made the, the pier special among uh, Instagram users. Mm. And one... Uh, interesting example of uh, the, the repetition itself. You have it towards the end where there is a collection of uh, screenshot uh, uh, taken from the platform where there, you re can really feel the, the strength of the repetition, like uh, mm. different people in different situations but performing the same, the same selfie, the same uh, photo in front of the same situation. Mm. Yeah. So there are some stickers as well, right? Yeah, towards the end, like, uh, to replicate the idea of, uh, of the Instagram stories uh, with the stickers and uh, other oh. features, uh, there is a physical sticker page that you can pass on the book, uh, uh, on the cover or wherever you like. Mm. Yes, and, and actually when uh, visitors um, who live in uh, Taiwan or uh, who have been visited this pier, uh, they will come here to look if they appear uh, in the exhibition. But uh, I would like to take this chance to invite uh, Long to share with us. It seems that um, you are 
one of the key person which make this site Instagrammable, right? Uh, can you share with us um, your uh, what have you done to make it Instagrammable? Okay. 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 咁當時就係當年嘅區議會啦，咁就俾咗一個分啦，咁就俾一啲民間團體，咁咧就做咗一啲叫社區參與規劃嘅嘢，咁佢搞咗啲誒核心小組啦，咁跟住擺街站啦，就問：喂，呢度搞個公園，想點搞好？嗱，當時嘅問題想點搞好？個意思就係、是、啊，呢度係要拆嘅，要變公園噶啦，因為我哋唔夠公園用嘅，咁啊好多理由啦，咁跟住就有埋一啲即係專業人士參與啦，咁啊整咗一個好靚嘅規劃。就呢度要變成個好靚嘅公園啊！咁樣又有遊輪碼頭啊，有嘢食啊，好似足地市場咁啊之類咁樣咯。咁誒、呃，當時我見到呢件事嗰陣時咧，我都幾震驚嘅喎。因為因為我成日都去碼頭玩嘅喎，我係我係隔。係啊，我幾歲就成日去㗎啦。咁啊，去咗幾廿年咁樣啦。咁我見到呢件事有起碼有三樣嘢好唔妥啦。第一個唔妥咧就係誒，佢、呃、要規劃呢個地方。但係咧，嗰、那個地方唔係一個空地嚟嘅喎，嗰、那個地方其實係有好多檔主喺度嘅喎。其實咧、呃，如果你睇相咧，見到入面點解咁多咁多卡板啊、竹枝啊嗰啲好靚嘅嘢咧，就係、是、一係檔主啲貨嚟嘅。咁你話要拆咗人哋，咁嗰班人搬去邊？呢、這個第一個，我覺得唔妥嘅。嚇、啊，咁同埋你去問嗰啲檔問嗰度，你又問檔主都冇問啦。咁第二就係嗰度本身有好多街坊成日去嘅，咁你亦都冇問過成日去嘅人，咁你就變成喺。出面問出面嘅人就規劃入面，咁呢個係唔妥嘅。咁啊，第二樣唔妥係即係關於呢個社區嗰個市身化問題啦。誒、呃，佢嗰個地方即係其實西區臨海嗰啲樓價已經係好高啦。咁你呢度仲搞公園，其實我覺得係推樓價工程多過搞公園。第三個唔妥，我覺得係比較即係係一個關於 taste 嘅問題嚟嘅。誒點解會覺得呢個地方咁靚？咁好多人覺得佢靚咧。其實我睇翻後生嘅多嘅，後生講緊即係四五十歲樓下啦嚇。咁其實佢靚嘅地方就係佢正正佢唔係一個公園，佢正正其實佢唔係公共空間，喺法律上佢唔係。誒，但係大家成日都會入去，咁啊用到佢變咗做公共空間。咁而檔主因為嗰度啲檔主多數都係街坊嚟嘅，佢亦都冇乜所謂，咁啊大家繼續用。咁而佢喺嗰度係一路有工程做緊嘅，佢有作業嘅，咁所以佢係一個活嘅活嘅空間嚟嘅。佢唔係好似嗰啲所謂活化，就係、是、將本來嘅嘢趕走曬，得返個殼，咁然後加啲凳俾你坐。嗰種我覺得係遺跡，而呢個係一個活生生嘅公共空間。咁而呢樣嘢係好靚嘅，咁亦都係廣受比較年青嗰批人嘅歡迎嘅。當時咧，佢嗰份即係規劃書出嚟啦，叫做咁咧。其實個意思咧就話呢個地方咧，其實冇人用嘅。誒，因為貨運個使用用率不足啦。咁而街坊係唔入得去嘅，即係當時佢咁講嘅。咁我第一個諗法咧就係、是，即係佢動用民意啊嘛，係咪？咁咁我哋都可以動用民意嘅。咁於是就建立咗一個社區嘅誒、呃、Facebook group 啦。咁就叫西環變環時啦。所以誒、呃、起社區其實就係西環變環時嘅初衷嚟嘅。咁當時佢話冇人用，冇乜人中意。誒、哎、咁我話俾你聽，其實好多人用，好多人中意。咁我係攝影師啦，咁係影職業噶啦。咁所以誒落、呃、去影啲糖水相，其實係冇難度，唔需要太多時間嘅。咁而我同嗰度因為住得好近啊，我通常係望到出窗，哦個光幾靚，咁啊攞相機衝落去，咁啊開始影相啦，咁樣。誒、呃、咁，所以咧最早個 group 咧就係即係成日 post 一啲相啦。咁就即係除咗碼頭之外，仲有其他即係西區嘅一啲即係大街小巷嘅風景啦。希望多啲人關注呢個社區先嘅。咁啊，鑑於呢個冇相唔好出 post 嘅道理咧，咁所以就即係都幾受歡迎啊。因為啲相好容易呃到 like 啊嘛。好啦，咁誒咁啊一路 post 相啦。咁嗰度其實就係影日落嘅好地方啦。咁啊影下啲人喺嗰度嘅活動啦。咁我做過一啲 project 係廿四小時喺嗰度，即係幾日。咁啊睇下由朝頭早神運客開始到半夜嘅夜青喺度飲酒，到凌晨三四點啲神運客又嚟。咁嗰段時間係發生咩事嘅相啦？咁就嗰啲相其實都未係好爆紅嘅，直至有一張咧。
就叫西環天空之鏡。咁咧就係嗰日，我記得就係、是呃、日食，咁可能有大潮，潮水就拱咗上碼頭，一片就濕晒。咁我一伏低睇，哇！海天一色好靚喎，咁啊伏低影咗張咁嘅相，擺上網就話西環天空之石之鏡，咁啊幾千 like， 然後就 Google search 天空之鏡，竟然唔係顯示玻璃維亞，係顯示西環碼頭嘅咁樣。Yeah, the mirror of the sky is really a key visual motif of the Instagram photo set. 咁咁嗰張相出街之後就大鑊啦，因為之後咧就係無即係成千上萬嘅影相友就立曬啲機嚟啦。咁<笑>咧就禮拜六日嗰陣時啲盛況咧，可以即係行去碼頭嗰個篤篤位，見到幾百萬相機喺度啊，咩 Face One 啊、Lift 啊，跟住最最頂級嘅單反啊，誒四五 G、八成十 G 乜都有咁樣。So at that time, uh, those were still very professional uh cameras, right? Uh, they are not really amateur. So no, 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 both. 兩樣都有啊，兩樣都有，即係我講緊幾百萬係啲最貴嘅機啦。咁但係跟住就好多人揸住 selfie 啊，影呢個影嗰個啊咁樣，跟住影影下咧就越嚟越多相喺網度流傳，跟住就開始叫做即係突然之間有人話係啦 ，Instagram peer 咁啊開始做咁咯。啊、uh, ，maybe 啊、uh, ，because actually 啊、uh, ，we have mentioned that、uh, there are other Instagram Instagramable sites in Hong Kong like、uh, Jim Sajoy Promenade and also Choi Hong Estate or like、uh, in Central. There are so many graffiti nowadays. And so uh, actually, uh, it's a pity that I never visited the pier. So I could not really comment. But、uh, according to your observations,、uh, what are the gazes of、um, the Instagramable sites?、Uh, maybe Melody can share your. Observations.、Oh, sure. Thank you very much.、Uh, yeah. In fact, uh, uh, I think this this action of、uh, like Instagram, especially in the age of social media, like everybody seems to be able to participate. And、um, I think like like all those、uh, sites that you mentioned,、uh, whether it's a、uh, Instagram、uh, peer or the other uh, site, um, I guess one of the things that they might、uh, Change a little bit the nature of these public space、uh, would be also that、uh, these are most of the time very local places. I mean, well, excluding the Chim Sachui Promenade is a tourist、uh, destination, but、uh, for these or even Choi Hong Estate or even the、uh, the Hill Street flyover as well, and、mm -hmm. all those places are usually like uh, uh, local people who go there. Is like、uh, what Long Go has mentioned that、mm -hmm. uh, he would go there、uh, when he was a kid.、Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Just as a neighborhood place, but、uh, because of social media, because of、uh, the the ease of like you know taking Instagram picture,、uh, I guess that kind of turns a lot of these uh, into uh, 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 yeah very popular place. So I mean, I actually am very curious to know. I guess both of you guys have been going to this place for uh, uh, many times.、Uh, do you guys see more often?、Uh, I mean. What what would be the percentage you would think are are like people from everywhere? I mean, I think I would suppose including、uh, international visitors. I mean,、yeah. back then when we still have tourists, <laughs> that、mm, uh, yeah. even tourists would go there, right? Well, in in my experience, I haven't seen that many. I mean, classical tourists coming for abroad,、mm. but I think a lot of people not from the area、mm. in Hong Kong will go there, like.、Yeah. A, Local Hong Kongers, yes,、mm, yeah. mm, and also depends also the time of the day. You will have a lot of residents going there. Like towards the evening, there will be more residents. Like just simply enjoying the view, the breeze, and you know walking their dogs, doing sports.、Mm. Not only you know photographic activities,、mm, yeah. mm. but also simply enjoying a place that is unique, really. Like a A piece of land inside the arbor is nowhere else in Hong Kong. Yeah, but、absolutely. it makes it different actually from the other Insta Instagramable area that you mentioned, where are, are less special in a way.、Mm, absolutely. And for the photographic perspective, as I mentioned before, the, the Instagram Pia offer different solutions for、mm. you know in one hour of. A visit, you can make images in many different areas, and it's like you are in different places. Something that other、yeah. other location cannot really offer.、Mm. Do you think they offers a kind of nostalgic、um, gaze, nostal nostalgia? Why go? Uh, 这这个唔唔系怀旧啊，佢系与时并进紧嘅。其实，因因为佢嗰个货运系冇停过噶嘛。你其實我我咪話即係廿四小時去嗰度嘅，咁其實佢朝頭早係一個好忙嘅碼頭嚟㗎。
，晏晝一點到就開始就得閒，但係好熱，街坊少嚟，跟住三點鐘就放學啲學生嚟，跟住五點鐘咧就開始有啲嚟即係街坊嚟，跟住六點零鐘啊街坊頂風期，七點零鐘啊開翻屋企食飯。咁跟住夜晚九點零鐘啊嚟吹風，夜晚過咗十一點啊開始飲酒客嚟，跟住過咗十一點幾、十二點之後就開始夜清嚟，即係玩下滑板啊，即係各樣嘢啦。跟住三點幾呢，神運街坊又到㗎啦。其其實係一個咁嘅地方嚟嘅，不過呢個係平日囉。佢紅咗之後呢，平日都係差唔多係咁嘅，但係假日就。就天水圍啊、梅窩啊咁之類咁樣，<笑>水口穿過嚟咁樣，係啦。Yeah, I also heard from the news that actually, ah,、uh, some mainland tourists they、uh, came to visit the site because of the news, ah,、uh, but、uh, not even really because of Instagram, but because of um, ah,、uh, not will、really、Hong Kong news because of um some Hollywood movies, the cyberpunk movies has used this space, ah,、uh, yeah, and、uh, like Transformer, yeah, right, and so yeah, and so this kind of industrial setting is very different from the. Business setting or the Jim Sa Jui one, uh, which against the skyscraper of Central and yeah, Wen Chai, and so it、uh, is very unique in Hong yeah. Kong. Yeah, but um, yeah, the twenty four hours、uh, rhythm is very interesting as well because uh, in other places you can see that actually um, the users are more or less the same, more yeah, standardized. Uh, but yeah, you have mentioned that many people visit there, but uh, what about the um the During these two years of COVID,、um, so、uh, do you see escalating use of the space? Escalating, yeah. 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 Y
death uh, caused by selfie taking. Oh, wow. <laughs> like a lot of people will put themselves in uh, in danger position in order to make a, a more uh, memorable image. I mean, the ultimate <laughs> memorable image. And then mm -hmm. some people would fell from from heights or they would be hit by a train. Mm. But I mean, the selection is Savory's work is, is more open, you know, it is not only about dangerous situation, but it gives an idea of how uh, also selfie can be dangerous. Mm. So back to Instagram and uh, placemaking. So you will think that um, Instagram photography has played a very significant role in creating the place myth of um, this cargo depot. If you say this one? Yes, right. No. I'm very specific. No. The art is very strong. Very strong. The art is 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 同埋嗰度誒，事實上咧，拜到攞嚇，你入去要攞綠卡噶，綠卡即係嗰張安全卡啊，係啊。咁如果你冇綠卡入去咧，其實海事處咧係要咩鑊噶？咁所以咧，其實係即係好 margin 路咁樣一路喺度捱住件事嘅。所以你話係咪 Instagram 會令到佢即係 place making 點樣咧？嗱，如果如果件事即係冇咁多呢啲嘢，就係其實。即係多過呢啲好多嘅。我用另一個例子，我估你會比較易諗到，即係西洋菜街。西洋菜街佢好 free 噶，好正噶。咁當年其實都係我哋一班朋友喺嗰度戰鬥，慢慢打翻嚟嘅位嚟嘅。但係誒、嗯，你到你好多人而零規矩係會玩難嘅。咁但係邊個去執行個規矩咧？呢呢呢個先高難度。即係我我舉個例，會唔會有西洋菜街藥妝或者碼頭藥妝呢樣嘢嘅咧？但係好難做喎。咁本來諗緊啊，區議會即係多啲朋友喺度，會唔會有機會推動呢？原來都係好難㗎喎，因因為呢，呃、入嚟嘅人唔係喺區度嘛，其實喺區度係易好多，但係誒、呃、都都有啲人入嚟，即係一粒老鼠屎跌落嚟就可以好大鑊囉。咁就係因為跌咗幾粒老鼠屎。其實你話係咪有好多破壞？唔係囉，係咪好多好爛嘅 case？ 唔係囉，但係有囉。跟住就誒。呃無論海事又好，檔主又好，都會越嚟越覺得呢個好難處理咯。嗯、mm. ，so this relates to the question of there are different types of public places, right, or public spaces, and then, um,、uh, yeah, we have different、uh, rationales and regulations,、uh, behavioral practices behind that. Maybe we can invite Melody、um, to、uh, share with the audience、uh, different types of、uh, public spaces and how. Sure, yeah. Sure. 唔好意思，因為我頭先嗰個仲有一個一點要補充，即係我頭先我話冇用嘅意思咧，就係講緊 place making。咁但係你話喂冇用，你一開頭你都用呢招嘅喎，咁樣係啊、呃。其實咧係一個特定嘅時刻入面有用，即係嗱，當時我用呢招好好具體啊，唔係藝術，唔係成啊，我影集糖水想對抗緊一啲所謂參與規劃嘅民意，我嚟做 attention， 叫人哋睇呢個古仔。掂咗咯，掂咗之後咧，其實我就冇再影噶啦。嗯、<笑>即係做完嗰嗰 part 做完啦。如果你講翻即係我以前做嘅其他 project， 多數都係咁。喺嗰一刻有用，抓咗 attention， 咁我就會褪去做第二樣嘢。其實咁樣嚇。So the district court actually、uh, did not really carry forward the、uh, project it originally proposed. 我個 project 係社區，呢、yeah. 個係喺個社區。係、so、啦，到佢一。做到我要嘅效果啦， okay. 令到嗰邊話冇人用嘅人收咗聲啦，咁、mm -hmm. 我覺得就可以，即、mm、係 -hmm. 對我嚟講就 finish 㗎啦，咁跟住佢咪繼續發展咯。But once it become Instagramable and become popular because social media is viral, that is the characteristic of social media photography. <laughs> hmm. And and in a way, I think like seeing it as a、uh, particular type of.、Uh, <laughs> particular type of public space.、Uh, I, I think the I guess the part of、um, the conflict between like drawing attention、uh, versus it has like too much attention.、Uh, that that is actually a very interesting dynamics、uh, as、mm. well.、Um, yeah, I, I guess uh, uh, responding to the question Carol asked a little bit earlier. I guess there there is a whole spectrum、uh, of public space that we can understand from you know the well、um, uh, managed.、Uh, Parks,、um, the the designated 
uh, public space uh, to uh, these type of uh, this type of really uh, depends on what definition semi public space could, yeah, could we consider depends on what definition you use is this is technically not a public space this is technically uh, uh, I guess you guys mentioned by the marine department mm -hmm. that you actually need a permit uh, to go in there mm -hmm. um, but then I think precisely it's because of this nature um, of uh, of the marginal type of public space that mm -hmm. draws so much attention I guess there is always this um, uh, 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 story about how uh, the very nicely made uh, parks with all the nice benches, nice trees, uh, that people might still go there uh, out of convenience or other reasons, uh, but then uh, they kind of feel like that in such a nice place, I cannot do anything, I can only sit there, or I can only do a certain thing as described, but I suppose uh, in this type of marginal space, I, I mean, out of uh, all these photographs, and uh, I have been actually also looking into the Instagram account uh, to see like how uh, uh, people are using it or playing with it basically uh, uh, in many different ways. I mean, of course, that again leads to the question of if they are playing with it or having too much fun, whether they would be having too much fun and creating danger. But I suppose it, in a way that goes back to the topic of whether there is this type of um, uh, um, agreement. Uh, yeah, whether there is this type of like uh, uh, subtle agreement or, or um, not exactly a charter. I think in some cases in, in the West, uh, they would have like charters for community, for public space of what you could or could not do. Uh, but in this case, there wouldn't be. Uh, but uh, I suppose, or maybe from you, your observation of making all these photographs, do you think there are some kind of like uh, hidden rules or kind of people know that if somebody is taking a wedding picture here, like uh, the other guys wouldn't you know, go crowded and mess up their background. Is there some kind of like, Negotiation. Yeah, I, I think it's mostly common sense. Mm. Like mm. if you are you know, an elderly person, probably you wouldn't climb a container. Mm. You know, you you can see yourself as and decide for yourself whether you're able or not to do certain things. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you tend not to disturb each other. Like if there is a wedding photographer, you don't go in front of it, or if he sees you, he will move. A little bit, you know, like common, common sense, common mm. practice in a public space, mm. in a shared space more than public. Because I mean, yeah, you know, share meaning. Uh, yeah, but um, Longgo has mentioned say on Charles Street, and um, so you have also mentioned uh, different people would use the spaces differently, like jogging and yeah. dog walking, etc. Uh, but do any people play music there or dance there? Because like in Jim and in yeah. Say on Charles Street, because it can really draw the public together. So there is really a kind of community formation. Um, that kind of community, because uh, I have been doing, the, I had done a research on at Jim Cultural Center, and then um, someone, um, they, uh, uh, one um, Halloween, uh, they um, two guys they or they originally uh, with a dance parlor parlor oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. in the game station, mm -hmm. but yeah, at uh, one time they just went out and uh, dance outside uh, at Jim uh, Cultural Center, mm -hmm. and they draws a lot of crowd, and they they love it very much, and then they they were every Saturday and then um, originally there were uh, 10 people participating and then it become a crowd of a few hundred. <laughs> yeah, but there are so many regulations uh, because actually they have to yeah, pay insurance free, et cetera, et cetera. So finally they can only dissolve. Um, so I would uh, like to ask whether these places also have this kind of community or yeah, um, formation. <laughs> I've I've seen some people dancing at night with music, but it, it did not become like a large mm. thing like this. You know? So there isn't like uh, people start like using this space. I mean, like uh, these kind of like uh, informal uh, destination. Uh, the uh, again back then when we still have tourism uh, that uh, you know even from uh, uh, Airbnb, there are always like. The, or, or many other platforms, there are these kind of like alternative uh, uh, visits. So I guess that was part of the, uh, maybe the commodification uh, that, that you mentioned, like how they start turning a public space for um, uh, not exactly 
private or for profit type of use, but a little bit towards uh, that end, I guess, including, uh, yeah, including like the dance and then the, uh, you know, how they might gain tips or, 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 or things. Um, uh, actually, maybe is, um, one reason could be because also the presence of some security guards, certain ah. activities were stopped. Mm -hmm. Like I remember somebody tried to sell drinks at some mm, point, exactly. but the security yeah. guard oh. stopped them, similar with the flying drones. Right. Mm. I mean, maybe you could get around that one. Mm. Extremely friendly, all the security right, guards right, all right. the time, telling, giving you notes saying that you will not yeah, supposed to yeah. be there. And certain activities, I think they were more uh, important than others, so they will be stopped uh, from yeah. the beginning. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. The no, management. That, that makes that sense. Right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. there are like as much as we think this is an industrial landscape that nobody really touched, but I guess there there are certain yeah, types of similar also for uh, activities like climbing on containers mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. the security guard in that case will come sure, sure, and sure. ask you to to stop. Sure. Uh, sure. 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 其實街坊經過見到有人冚咧，誒有啲都話喂落翻嚟咁點？因因為佢哋好明白嘅，呢度可以玩，但係唔可以玩得太串。呢、這個真係太難譯啦，係<笑>啊，咁咯。嗯嗯 ，yeah。So, uh, now the uh space is closed, right? Uh, and then naturally, um, the decision has been been made. And as Long Gao said, uh, actually they would like to discuss after COVID and uh, see what's going on. But so, if every one of you have a say uh, in the planning of the space, what would you like to do with it? Is it my professional self or my personal self? Mm. <laughs> uh, both. <laughs> No, well, I think the the in, in the city, especially in that part of uh, Hong Kong Island, um, mm -hmm. it, it certainly is facing the challenge uh, with uh, you know the MTR and and all these like real estate uh, projects in there. So, uh, from a researcher's perspective, uh, it, it's almost inevitable that it will be gone in the near future. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, at the same time, as a little personal wish, of course, that you wish to have uh, these type of marginal space uh, that, that is left. I guess sometimes we would even think that it's getting so popular right now, if when that wave of like popularity was slightly slowed down, then maybe uh, the authority or, or whoever make the decision uh, would lift them uh, as is. I I guess like all these other like all these um, different uh, activities that we have discussed that happens in there. It, it, I mean, in, indeed, there is actually no big harm. I mean, there are maybe risk and depends on who from what um. perspective you're looking at. But uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, for 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 me, it's a personal wish, I mean, it would actually be better to leave it as is, yeah. Yeah, but what about Pierre? Because uh, Pierre mentioned that um, he uh, took this project and would like to discuss uh, about the um, use of public space because uh, he feels that it's a really a pity that uh, it's closed and then maybe it will turn into commercial size or like um, the Queen's Pier, uh, right, or, or many public space actually. Uh, in Hong Kong, um, they favor the property development and so always uh, at the expense of their uh, people's right uh, to the city. And um, yeah, so actually the staff every pier and the Queen's Pier, P Queen's pier um, protests also have a similar kind of problems, but uh, I would like to hear uh, Pierre's um, perspective first maybe. Well, I, I mean, I also personally think it's, it's a, I mean, extreme pity that it's closed. Mm -hmm. I felt it, as a public space, in a way, it was working with its own rules. Mm -hmm. But perhaps, I mean, I do understand also the difficulties that the marine department may have in dealing with possible accidents and things. The best way it would be to use the this experience as a, as a, a case study to you know, to plan future public space in a similar fashion. I'm not saying that you need to create mm. like a, a copy of mm. the second piano square, mm. but you can, by observating it and also with all the images and, you know, uh, feedback from the user, you can understand that we don't need mm. rules to mm. take care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. which is something that sometimes is annoying in the classic public spaces, not only in Hong Kong, also. Absolutely. Also elsewhere, you know, when there are there is a list of 400 rules of things that you cannot do. 
And in this situation, you could do almost everything without injuring yourself because I, I mean, mm. I spend a lot of time there and I never see really anything. Maybe we can in one minute to share some uh, references from overseas uh, later after uh, Longgo, so share your views. Longgo,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你
is relatively uh, easy in the days of social media to rouse attention, but what to follow up uh, after it uh, become very important. And I guess it would be actually very interesting. I think it's like the occasion of how you were putting up this exhibition this time. Uh, it really is one type of that uh, um, um, follow up. And I suppose uh, through the reviewing uh, of how it happens uh, uh, that's actually very important I actually enjoy very much like what you what you mentioned um, uh, maybe it's not so much as in uh, Instagram peer is such a successful case less replicated somewhere else probably it's not so much in building another physical space just like that oh. but uh, I think through all these um, photographies we really uh, uh, were able to extract some of the um, interactions or even like some of the rules uh, that, that we talk about, like these uh, uh, unspoken uh, rules of how people interact with each other. And yeah, I mean, it will be super meaningful uh, to like, how can we like, you know, extract those um, uh, uh, I ideas or, or the way how people interact to become like important resources of, okay, so if we're gonna do something, what? should be done next not exactly meaning that we should have a space like this big uh with the with the container there so that we can something something mm. but yeah but through the interaction of the people and i think that's one of the very valuable thing out of this collection as well definitely uh but we'd like to initiate a campaign and then invite the local the neighborhood and to a series of photos and what can do what cannot do uh, uh, in a very interesting way. So you are using the wish show again. <laughs> you are generating, mobilizing. Um, yeah. So, uh, gathering a series campaign, so, uh, so, tell people, what to do, what to do, what to do. Please, and don't die in in a very interesting way. Um, then, 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 係啊，即係一一嚟係而家疫情佢唔會開嘅，即係疫情完佢一定唔開，呢、這個講咗㗎啦，因為個風險問題。咁之後其實如果你就咁講呢件事，而家個階段就係、是、其實第一件事係同檔主有有個好嘅 negotiation。咁然後佢哋喺佢哋嘅 consent 之下再去行下一步嘅，其實係要咁樣嘅。咁誒、呃，因為你唔同佢傾，你突然之間出面爆一紮嘢，佢啊佢啊望住你呆咗㗎啦，係、嗯、啊，咁即係我我估係我哋好多時做 up work， 反而係即係即係尤其是我哋 local 去做呢，更加係要有有機會去行呢一步囉。咁我又希望多啲 artist 係行多啲呢步。Yes, and yeah. After all, it's about consensus, and so there is consensus amongst the stakeholders, and then this is also the essence of democracy. No matter uh, about the uh, locals and the other users of the peer or between the government and the people, so we all need to have uh, some mechanism uh, to generate the discussion and consensus. Uh, so actually, uh, our discussion is about the role of photography, and uh, actually, you are the curator. I think uh, apart from uh, the role of a uh, photographer, because um, you uh, who create the Instagram size, you cur create the Instagram size, right? So you curate um, the people's photo of the site, and so do you think that you can push further the use of this um, archive? Um, for some other countries, they may use this to generate storytelling, and then so um, yeah, it uh, could uh, become more than photographic representation for fun. Yeah. Um. Well, um, I think that the reason why I started the project was really to celebrate this place. I always have an interest in photographing people photographing themselves. Mm -hmm. And I found in the Instagram peer the right place to do it, where I could concentrate all the attention. Mm. Um, elsewhere, I'm not aware of similar places, but I mean, before going abroad with the work, I think it's important for like a Hong Kong to understand what they've lost, really, because I'm not afraid much about the photographers, because I'm sure they can find other place to photograph themselves mm -hmm. or sure. making nice photos. Sure. But I'm more concerned about the local people who used to go there every day mm -hmm. for, uh, I don't know how many years, to fish, to walk their dogs, to exercise. That is the, I mean, the main reason why 
uh, I feel the exhibition is important. Mm -hmm. um, during these four years, maybe the focus was more on photography because the project was uh, Instagram based, so mm -hmm. the role of photography was more important. Uh -huh. But at this stage, you know, it, it almost became secondary, the photograph photography part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what about Long Go? You are the organizer of the Facebook group at uh, Banju. Uh, and uh, actually, because um, now the people are passive to some extent. I mean, who take the photos, uh, okay, um, their photos are being exhibited there. But uh, could we turn them also into an active agent and use these photos to create some stories? Uh, Why? Uh, because 是啊,溜啊,即是其實頭頭出來,你知可以會其實熟人啦,咁,佢哋都會一開頭都係問我,喂,係咪開始處搞,我就係唔係嘛,就係唔係啊嘛,即係如果你開始處搞,你咪同開
what are the voices? Mm -hmm. So that is the empowerment. I think, uh, yeah, there are ways that we can really push further. And this is also a very important people's archive. And uh, this is the collective memory, but maybe this is not only the memory, that is not only visual memory, but there are also many other oral history behind and which worth exploring further. I could totally imagine there would be like this whole collection of story behind each of these images. So that's why to me, um, um, if you're the host or the creator of an Instagram site, and then um, it's not only, um, you're you are actually a curator, and then when you're curating something, actually you can generate more and more dialogue and engagement and interaction. And then uh, that's also what uh, WMA always do, uh, because they do not only want to show artworks, but they want to make use of their photography to generate social awareness and change. Yeah. Yeah. So when we talk about this kind of uh, issues, um, do you have any other examples from overseas uh, that we can use for reference? how we can resolve this? Well, I, I guess that uh, the story a lot of times of this uh, uh, post-industrial side, um, uh, it, uh, it, it's really, it uh, has a role to play uh, with the real estate market uh, for sure. Uh, I, I spent some time in, in Barcelona uh, some years ago, uh, and uh, I mean, with my architecture background, I went there and see. I was like, "Oh wow, you guys have all these like nice uh, old neighborhoods preserved and all that." And then some of my local friends were saying that, uh, "Well, uh, we didn't really preserve any of these on purpose. It's just because you know, with with, with that value, nobody, no developer would come in uh, and want to really like, develop that part." And, you know, 10 years, 20 years, 50 years later, then it becomes something that nowadays when we look back is quite beautiful. So I guess um, a, a lot of case, I think, uh, uh, especially I would say in Europe, maybe you can also share some cases in Italy, but I guess a lot of times in Europe is because the economy is not running as fast as Hong Kong. Mm. So without intentionally redevelop everything, mm. um, a lot of these uh, more vernacular type of places uh, get to uh, be saved. Yes, they are regenerating rather yeah, yeah, use yeah. rather uh, than using this kind of radical uh, perspective of yeah. redevelopment. <laughs> right, right, mm. right. Yeah, I mean, or perhaps uh, in, in the case of uh, uh, New York, um, I guess in the last. Uh, 10 years or so, uh, there is, especially in the whole area of like uh, uh, Brooklyn and Queens, uh, that uh, all of a sudden, a lot of uh, uh, speculative real estate comes in and uh, in the name of, uh, you know, like we're going to like regenerate this uh, old uh, industrial area, so forth and so on. Some, uh, some factories might be closed for like uh, over a decade, but it's not used. Um, but I guess the case in New York, for example, might be a little bit different uh, is that um, the voice of people or the voice of residents uh, in, in New York is actually very strong. Mm -hmm. So in that case, when the uh, developer comes in, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, wh whether how um, how wholeheartedly they are doing this or not, uh, it doesn't matter, but they do have to uh, pay a lot of attention mm -hmm. or, or, or talk a lot with the community. I mean, that's going to make the process slightly longer, but uh, that's a little bit necessary steps uh, and uh, yeah, on the on the development side, whether it's a, a public project or whether it's a developer project, they wouldn't be able to push forward mm -hmm. uh, if not working uh, with the community. So I think some of these things are what we would wish that could happen uh, in, in the case of Hong Kong uh, as well, uh, either leaving it for long enough, just let it be. <laughs> don't don't come bother me, either that, or if you are gonna come do something, then yeah, really work with uh, 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 the people or especially local mm -hmm. residents uh, to work on it. Maybe one last question uh, is, if we are not talking about um, the West District Pier um, itself, uh, but uh, talking the public space in general, what, why do you think public space is so important and what is your utopic public space? Well, I, I come from Italy mm -hmm. and I have more experience from like a Europe. Mm -hmm. And I mean, each city, even if small or even large ones, they have, we have several public square where we can mm -hmm. meet 
interact without regulations, really. Mm. And I feel perhaps Hong Kong lacks a bit of the same mm. yeah, luxury, really. Mm. Because here, if you want to meet, you could go to the mall, mm. where maybe it's difficult to sit without having to buy something to drink mm. or eat. Mm -hmm. So that's what I would, I mean, suggest mm. to have more opportunities, even for youngsters to have a place to meet, uh, interact, take photos, or just chat. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah very, very much so. Actually, I never thought about it that way, but it is very true that in Hong Kong, we don't really have any sense of like, uh, uh, like uh, civic plaza in the European sense. Uh, I mean, uh, when we, you know, in, in our study of like uh, architecture urbanism, there are like all these classic case of how to make a, a good civic plaza, uh, learning a lot from the European mm -hmm. cases. Um, but uh, in, in a way, um, yeah, it, it, I think that that would be something. I mean, of course, in the sense that the way of how Hong Kong is a very compact place make it difficult to have a large open space uh, uh, unused for, for, you know, or, or open up for whatever purpose. Um, yeah, but it is actually true that uh, if we're, going to uh, have a, you know, have a, have a place, have an icon. Um, I think in a way, uh, again, around that time of the Queen's Pier and all that, uh, the um, central Wang Hao Zhang Gong Cheng, the status uh, square, that area, I think, was the sense of uh, uh, a civic square that mm. people would identify with it. Not necessarily that I would go there all the time. I mean, it's mm -hmm. like a lot of the plaza uh, in, I mean, uh, if I remember like in uh, Barcelona with the Plaza Catalonia, or I think a lot of um, uh, plazas uh, in, in, in Italy and other places as well. So th that would be something that also ties with people's uh, memory. So if, I, if there is a civic place uh, mm -hmm. where it would be, um, yeah, I think, I mean, I very much agree yeah, that that would be some sort of ideal public space I would wish to see as well. Mm. Mm. 沒有人的地方大家不要玩那麼多 so you have all mentioned civic space, a uh, civic plaza, right? Um, can you elaborate further? What do you mean by civic, and what's the relationship between civic and public and citizenship? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I mean, yeah. That 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 is certainly a, a key topic. I need another hour for that. Again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no. But uh, but I think it's actually very interesting in the case of Hong Kong, and a little bit bringing back also to the Instagram peer, uh, is, is that how we start to, or how a group of um, people, citizen, residents, how a group of people start identifying uh, with a certain uh, place. Uh, a lot of times. Um, the physical space itself, uh, it has uh, a lot to do, um, like Longo was saying, that it has to be big enough, uh, and I would say it also has to be, um, you know, in a central location, it's easily accessible, um, and all, all, all that criteria uh, uh, to make a, a space um, uh, that people can identify with. Uh, so that's the physical aspect of it. And of course, there's a lot of uh, historical uh, reason. I think most of the, especially again, if we think back uh, in the European cases, uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, historical um, uh, uh, reason, historical uh, stories that Mm -hmm. give a place and an identity. So I suppose that is also how, uh, in, in our case in Hong Kong, that would uh, uh, potentially uh, link with uh, the, um, you know, the colonial era uh, mm -hmm. time. Mm 
mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, I mean, even like the area with the with the city hall and all that. Um, and I suppose like uh, all these different um, elements that that is what really uh, built uh, the the sense of um, uh, citizenship. Yeah, really, uh, how to people get together and i think uh going back to the the point of like how uh the rules or the uh non-rules that works together uh that i think that has to do with also like the sense of like belonging the sense of uh, mm -hmm. uh citizenship like mm -hmm. if um you know, people start to have a sense of uh, their belonging to that certain place. I think that makes a big difference of um, uh, not having to set up all these rules uh, because I guess everybody gather uh, at a place, they have um, some sort of mutual understanding that does not really need all that rule. So in the case of like too many rules, it's usually when there is a distrust mm. uh, to the people using it. It's mm. kind of like, you know, like in a uh, different type of uh, uh, kindergarten, primary school that uh, you won't let the kids touch anything. But if you let them touch it and they start to, you know, uh, one thing is feel a sense of belonging to the place. The other thing is, yeah, they'll probably wash themselves as well. Yeah, but I guess mm. um, not that good of a parent in that sense. <laughs> yeah, very good. Do you have any to support? Well, I, th I think like in simple terms, I think people simply need a place where they can feel comfortable with. Mm -hmm. And at the PR, people were very comfortable. Like I often say, mm -hmm. when I describe the project, that I felt almost that the PR was an extension of people's home. Mm -hmm. Because you, at the end of the day, you mm -hmm. will go there to relax, to walk the dog, to do mm -hmm. your things. It was part of your house, and you felt comfortable with. Many people felt comfortable with, and they it became a place where they built collective memory, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, I mean, in a way, I'm not sure if you really need a one gigant or a several gigantic places. You can also be so happy with a small, many smaller area. Even just a bench could be a place where a group of friends could build something together. Mm. But what about Longo? Because um, you had a physical space uh, for the community, right? Yeah. Uh, a few years ago, but then now. Something like Central Park. Mm. Like that. But you said that he always 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 said that he 或者是這個公共空間 有質地呢,就是一個很大的教育過程。所以如果你說公共空間這件事,好像一把鎖匙是通向一個很重要的公民意識,那個庫,那個怎麼說,那個倉庫那裡。所以就是那個老百姓和公民,是不是可以,是不
quality and the well-being of uh, the whole city. Yeah, that would be the most ideal public space. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, do, uh, does Melody have some much? Okay, so, okay, okay. My question is for Pierre, and maybe there's a good time for you to mention your book as well. <laughs> I want to ask, how do you see the future of this project? Because right now, um, here it's in close and then we have exhibitions here and then you have the book. Would you kind of play like continue the projects if the mm -hmm. year opens again? Uh, I, I think uh, I would, I mean, I'm open. Like uh, in a way is uh, the fact that it's closed and that there's been an exhibition. Um, the book has been, I mean, produced is a, you know, uh, could be a nice excuse to, to, to wrap it up. And also, I have to say, I've been quite obsessed in the making of this project, like uh, going there almost daily for the, uh, this large period of time, it really make me uh, obsessed with, uh, with photography and photographing people making photos of themselves. So in a way, it's, it's a nice excuse to, to finish that part of my life. Uh, having said that, I think if the peer, and I hope it was gonna open again, I would definitely consider a continuation, maybe in a, on a different form. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm open. I mean, I would be very happy if he opens up again and then we would be allowed to continue. Me or maybe someone else who could mm -hmm. continue. Yeah. Thank you very much uh, for the very fruitful and meaningful discussion today. So from the Instagram photos and then, um, so they are not only isolated individuals uh, making funny uh, images, but then they are also actually engaging some social experience. They become very important archive of collective memory and through this kind of practices. And then um, actually this public space is an organic bottom up public space. And uh, as uh, Longo mentioned, um, culture, and then this is really a living culture. And then we hope that um, this living culture could uh, move forward. And then uh, this kind of public space after the negotiation, after the um, 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 equal discussion of all the uh, stakeholders and then uh, it will become a desirable um, public space uh, that can facilitate citizen life of Hong Kong. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.